Hi, let's talk about this last mile delivery thing. Um, I've got something here popped up today on Router Science News. We'll talk about this, a pizza delivery autonomous thing. But this whole last mile delivery uh, problem has been around for like a decade now. And all these startups are starting up trying to solve this last mile delivery problem, which is the problem where, you know, local shops like pizza shops, uh, for, for example, you know, any food uh, place are looking to, uh, you know, uh, solve the problem of getting the product to you quicker, faster, you know, uh, for lower cost, etc, etc. And of course, uh, you know, Amazon and other companies have tried this with drones and drones are going to epically fail um, if they haven't already for like, you know, th that was the promised thing a while like not so long ago was oh drone you'll be having drones delivered to you by now you know they'll be delivering everything from the local amazon warehouse not nah, hasn't worked out anyway i think uh bruce simpson from xjet uh youtube channel he's actually done videos on those he's a vocal critic of the whole drone delivery thing anyway that's you know let, so let's just assume the drone delivery thing has failed um and then you've got all these autonomous robot things how many companies can does anyone know is there a list of companies a startup companies that have produced these delivery you know autonomous robots they you know go drive little electric autonomous robots go driving through the streets with your um with your food delivery or your this one in particular right this is uh in uh brooklyn pizza i guess is that is that the company i don't know anyway um so this is a magna a company called magna has developed an electric autonomous pizza delivery robot aiming to reduce last mile delivery costs and carbon emissions carbon emissions in cities and Anyway, there's tons of other solutions, including the most hilarious one. I almost did a video on this because I got into a sort of like a Twitter discussion with the CEO of uh, Pipe Dream Labs. This was some time ago. I'll, I'll link it in. You know, I'll try and link it in if I can. Anyway, yes, th it literally is a pipe dream. Okay. <laughs> he's so passionate, though, about that he's solved, cracked this last mile delivery problem. They'll have these 12 inch PVC pipes everywhere, and then you'll have these little boxes over here which will just you know you, you, people just you know your local pizza shop will have one of these things they shove the your pizza well not pizza you know it's probably too big for your 12 inch pipe but you know the amazon warehouse will shove things into these pipes and they'll go ooh, whizzing through whizzing through the pipes and then you can collect it at the other end here and they are oh, they've got back in money for it and it's just gonna it's gonna be an epic fail and here it is there'll be a, like a, a motor drive pod and a cargo pod and things like this and it goes through pvc pipes so they'll do you know a cut and cover type thing on the streets um to install these uh, 12 inch pvc pipes going everywhere is it like yeah, no, no, it's just going to epically, epically fail. But anyway, he's so passionate about it. He even offered to come on the, you know, interview on the EV log and stuff. Anyway, I, no, I don't think I'm going to waste my time on that. But anyway, there's lots of these solutions. Drones, these stupid pipe things. Um, and of course, these autonomous robots are all the thing. Um, and I believe some of these companies have already failed. But anyway, let's just take a quick look at this. And I, I'll just give you my thoughts on these autonomous delivery robots, because I don't, I don't see how they're going to work, really. I don't see how they're going to be good. Look, he's putting his pizza in. This all-electric pizza delivery robot is hitting the roads. I assume it's got, like, a heater in there as well. And it want to because it's going so bloody slow. Look at it, right? Which is one of the problems. Anyway, I don't know about Magna. I haven't looked it up. To reduce the last mile delivery costs and carbon emissions in urban areas. Woo! Um, here he goes. Oh, wow. Look, it's going so quickly. <sighs> 20 miles an hour wow 32 k's an hour oh, screaming along jeez i hope you're not in any hurry for your pizza um <laughs> use it and it's got cameras and radar and lidar and everything else and i'm sure it's marvelous tech right and yeah they probably have their niches in in places but i don't see these things ultimately being a success in this sort of urban environment i just don't see it a uh, well uh, we'll go through the reasons in a minute right and here's the uber eats thing i don't know and uh, of course there's epic con uh, compilations of these things like just crashing and getting confused and they talk to you when they if you help it flip it up and get it up the curve and all sorts of things right if people haven't trashed the damn things right like they do with those e-bikes and e-scooters you end up with you know they end up in the rivers and stuff like that i can like see people just tossing these in the rivers you know 
you know, just for kicks. Anyway, this one's a bit beefier, this Brooklyn pizza thing from this Magna company. Anyway, I can't see these things working, right? Well, let's talk about first the carbon emissions. You want to reduce carbon emissions? Fine. You know, I'm a big fan of EVs. I've got an EV myself. I solar, I power via solar power, and they're great for getting rid of, you know, not just CO2 emissions, right? But just like cleaner air in the cities and stuff like that. Fantastic, right? So they are, yeah, okay, fine. They're better than, um, you know, scooters and stuff and uh, well, cars. You know, if you get your regular pizza delivery, it might come by car, might come by scooter. Scooters are quite uh, popular here. I see them, you know, in my local neighborhood. They'll have these delivery um, scootery things. Here's a company that actually, um, here's a local Australian place that actually services all these pizza delivery scooters, right? You know, Domino's have their, I don't know if, I don't know how this scheme works. If you're a Domino's delivery driver, do they like own the, do Domino's own the, scooter or do you have to buy it and then they just slap their branding pod on the back i don't know um how any of this works but anyway if you want to reduce emissions okay well um let's just buy a pizza delivery e-bike um here it is 1500 watt pizza delivery e-bike seriously okay what what is the embodied energy to produce one of these things okay it's a you know it's got the same it does it have oh, okay it might use a bit less battery because there's less weight in it perhaps doesn't have the human on it so okay it might use a bit less battery than an e uh scooter an electric scooter uh for example what, but what's the embodied energy that goes into manufacturing one of these i can't see it being actually lower than uh, you know, a mass-produced electric scooter which has other uses, um, for example. And then you've got the radar and the LiDAR and the computers and the electronics and the cameras and everything and all the tech that goes into building this thing. I can't see how the embodied energy of building one of these is less than uh, just like a, a scooter like this, which you can sell for regular market just for transport, right? And you can use it for regular uh, transport, right? So I don't... No. So, so you're not saving the environment. So don't give me any bullshit about, oh, you're reducing CO carbon emissions in the cities. Uh, whoop de freaking do. No. No. I think that, no. I think that is a red herring. Okay. And uh, reduce my last mile delivery costs. Okay. So these autonomous things, they get rid of the uh, pizza driver, right? But what, what happens to all these jobs, right? What happens to all these pizza delivery e-scooter jobs? right? What happens to all those? You're getting rid of them. Okay, so that's another thing. And then it's slower. Why would you want a slower delivery pizza? Okay, maybe if it costs you less to get it delivered, but okay, ultimately the price of pizza might come down with the cost of inflation, everything's going up, you won't even notice it anyway. But you know, technically, okay, you know, it might come down if they don't have to hire somebody to actually deliver the pizza. Cost might come down, but this thing's slower. Okay, like 20 mile an hour tops 32k an hour tops no little pizza delivery scooter dude eh, flying around right they'll get there in no time no worries okay put your horror story about your pizza wasn't delivered or at all or on time right and then the second one is um reliability okay you see these things breaking you know this as i said there's compilation videos of these things breaking down and doing stupid things and not being able to navigate and especially when things change and there's other obstacles and stuff like that right uh, the odds of your pizza not getting there are much much greater probably an order of magnitude greater surely with one of these autonomous things no matter how good they you know are the tech in them are which i'm sure is you know marvelous tech right hats off to the people who develop these things fantastic but i i can't can't see like it's got to be an order of magnitude less reliable than a pizza delivery dude surely so it's slower it's less reliable and it's less flexible right can this thing come up to your door knock on your door and press your doorbell and alert you that you're there and when you order pizza you want the convenience of somebody passing it through like opening the door here it is you know you're sitting there in your pajamas or whatever and you don't you don't want to go out onto the curb to and then how do you get your pizza out of this thing i presume you can't anyone just can't open it maybe you've got to have a stupid appy thing on your phone and you've got to connect and you've got to like do please i'm very Verify who you are and I'm like you know or does it open automatically when it gets to your destination I don't know and it I, like it sends you a message and if you don't get it no 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 it's just not as flexible right especially if you've got an apartment you live in an apartment for example you don't want to have to come down the you know the lift or whatever or the stairs and to go to your you know think no right and go out on the sidewalk in the freezing rain in the middle of the night just to get your pizza from your stupid delivery robot no you want somebody to bring it to you so that's another strike against them right there 
So the way I see it, it's not really solving any carbon emission uh, type thing. You can just do that with e-scooters. It's uh, slower. It's going to be a lot slower. It's going to be a lot less reliable, probably an order of magnitude less reliable, and it's less flexible. Now, that's four major things against this. The only thing, it, it might you might get a slightly cheaper pizza, perhaps, because you're not paying someone to deliver it. But no... No, 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 I, please, am I wrong on this? Am I completely wrong? Have you used one of these things? You know, I don't live in the big city, right? So I'm never going to see one of these things, right? They're, they're not going to be trundling through the suburbs to my house anytime soon, let me tell you. So yeah, please leave it in the comments down below. Uh, like, have you had, are you sure? You know, it's probably novel and cool and everything. Am I completely wrong? Do these things work? Is, is, is this the future? I don't think so. I don't see this last mile problem actually being solved. And there's so much money being poured into companies that are trying to become unicorns, you know, a billion dollar valuation for solving this last mile delivery problem. And you get, you know, r ridiculous, just, you know, stuff like this pipe. <laughs> Let's deliver things through a 12 inch pipe. Heck, it might as well be pneumatics. Um, you know, it's just, uh, come on. I'm just looking at these from a viability point of view and I'm just not seeing it, but I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong. So please leave it in the comments down below. If you think the, this thing is, is going to work. Um, but I just, I just don't see it. It's got, you know, three major things, uh, you know, three or four major things against it. Really, and and these would have to co cost a lot more, also than an e-scooter um, as well. So, and the company has to buy these. Whereas, you know, if you hire a pizza delivery uh, dude, they probably own their must uh, flexible. Do you have to own your own bike or whatever? Scooter must hold a current. No, legally alone. No, driving a car, a scooter must hold. Yeah, okay. So, you know, you employ people. Hey, eh? it's good to employ people, right? People need jobs, right? So, so just from that aspect alone. I'm not, you know, happy with it, but, you know, if, if it was a better experience, but I don't see how it can be. There's just, it's, it's less flexible, it's slower, it's I, less reliable. I'm not, no, nah, no. Nah. So, yeah, these last mile delivery autonomous things, they just get a yeah, nah from me. I'm, I'm just not seeing it. But anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time. <laughs>